Hello everybody and welcome to the guitar tutorial for my song Outlaw. First things first, we've got to tune the guitar. Out of tune. We're going to go into standard tuning. Now that we are in standard tuning, we can get straight into the video. Layout is so intro and then chords for the whole song, um, then chords for the bridge, and then I'm going to do a playthrough of the whole song at the end. So stick around for that. This song is made up of all easy chords, so there's no bar chords. So, firstly, the intro is the same chords as the verses, but it's just picked out a bit differently. So, the first chord is an F chord. I like to do it with my ring finger on the third fret of the A string, my pinky finger also on the third fret, but of the D string, my middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and my first finger on the first fret of the B string. Or you could bar chord it, but I find it sounds better open. It's got that bit more minory sounding with the E. And then a D major chord. So that is first finger on the second fret of the of the G string, the ring finger on the third fret of your B string, and your middle finger on the second fret of the high E string. Next up is a C chord. So ring finger on the third fret of the A string your middle finger on the second fret of the D string and your first finger on the first fret of that B string. C. Uh, and also try not to try not to hit the low E when you're showing a C because it's like versus. The second one sounds better. Then we've got an A minor. So that's middle finger on the second fret of the D string. Then ring finger on the second fret of the G string and first finger on the first fret of the B string. And then E major, which is just the exact same shape, but you just put it up by one string. Middle finger on the second fret of the A string, ring finger on the second fret of the D string and first finger on the first fret of the G string. That's all the chords F. F, whatever you decide. D, or I guess D if you can do bar chords. Um, C, or C. A minor, or A minor. And E, or E, because there's no E bar chord. Anyway, so with all the chords there, now we've just got to pick them out. So for the intro of this whole song, it sounds like this. So for that, uh, it's just plucking each string of the chord um, apart from the top E string um, in order. So for the F, A, D, G, B, E, B, G, D, and then switch A, D, G, B, E, and then just over and over again switching on the, when you come back to the A string. And then for these two next chords, it's halved. So when you switch straight on the A string again, A, D, G, and then switch, and then A, D, G. So with the F, ready to switch now to D major. Switch now to C. Switch now to A minor, now E minor. Yeah, so that is the intro. Well done. Cool, so now that you know the chords and you know the intro, the verse is just the same chords in the same sequence, but you just strum them. So for strumming pattern, it's just kind of, you kind of make it up as you want, um, but the way I do it is, wait, I've got to figure out how to do it now. Most of the time, I do it down strums all the way. Down, 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 down. And you just emphasize them. So if I was only doing one strum, it would be. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of in threes. Um, so if, you're, if I was doing down strums, but I was emphasizing, then down, 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 down. And 
Then when it gets to A minor and E minor, then I just go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. But it's kind of just make up as you go along. If you want to learn the strumming pattern exactly how I do it, play along with me at the end of this video and you'll be able to figure it out a lot easier. That chord sequence is the same throughout the whole song, all the way up until the bridge. And then the bridge, using no new chords, it's just a different sequence. So just skipping, skipping the D entirely and going F, C, E major, A minor, E major. I'll do one of the first chord sequence going into one of the next one. So normal. So that's how I went into it. And normally when I start the bridge, just how I start the song, I go down, 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 down. But then as you get further along in the bridge, you can just go down, up, down, up. I kind of just work off what the what vibe I'm going for. And that is the whole song pretty much. And just right at the end, after the bridge, then it goes back to the normal chord sequence of F, D. It goes to that one. Um, but right at the end, I finger pick the last chord, so just like in the intro. So if I'm doing the, this is the very last one, so. So just strumming all the chords as normal, but when you get to the A minor, you go A, D, G, and then change to E major and then do the same strings, A, D, G. Okay, that was the intro, the main chord sequence, the bridge chord sequence, the, the outro. And now I'm just gonna play the whole song. Also, pro tip, uh, when you're performing, if I've got a pick and I accidentally drop the pick on the floor, if I didn't have any other picks, then I'm screwed. But if you have blue tack and extra picks, I put blue tack here for one pick and here for another pick. So if I drop a pick and I've got nothing, and oh, I just pick one up and carry on. If I drop that one, oh no, but I grab another one. If you find that problem when you're performing and you drop a pick a lot, blue tack and spare picks. Okay. Together, so 